and welcome to Julia Sugarcraft. Today I'm going to be making some ivy leaves. What we need is a PME softening pad, a PME bone tool. If you haven't got that you could use the ball tool that I've got here to show you. Some Tinkertech ivy leaf cutters, an ivy veiner, a non-stick board, a non-stick rolling pin, some Squire's Kitchen sugar florist paste and corn flour to stop your paste sticking to your board and your rolling pin. So I take a little bit of corn flour, put it in the corner of my board and a little bit under where I'm going to be working, a tiny bit onto my rolling pin, a little bit on my fingers. I then take some Squire's Kitchen paste and I soften it. Try not to use too much corn flour because it will dry out the paste, just what is needed to stop it sticking. If you've got a palette knife, that might be handy to lift up the paste if it does start sticking to the board you're working on. So first of all, I'm going to roll out the paste really thinly. Each time we roll, Make sure we put a tiny bit more corn flour underneath so the paste doesn't stick. This paste needs to be really thin so that if you've got it above some writing, you would be able to read that through the paste. Take one of the Tinkertech cutters. You may need a little bit of corn flour on that. Place the cutter on top of the paste and press downwards and twist. When you do that, it cuts through quite cleanly. Use your fingers to press along and cut out the shape. Now, if you're using any other make of cutter other than Tinkertech, just be a little bit careful, especially with the metal ones, because they could be quite sharp. And I wouldn't want anyone to cut the fingers. So be careful. You might even want to press down with another piece of paste or a modelling tool carefully. Not on a, a bit that matters, but just to make sure it cuts through. Get your ivy veiner and place the shape onto there. Any paste that's left, cover with a plastic bag, freezer bag or into a small container so it doesn't dry out. Place the raised part of the veiner onto the paste and press down firmly. Lift up and remove your shape. As you can probably see on here, this is one I've already made and it's dried slightly. Pop the one you've just cut out on the PME modelling pad. Get your modelling tool, usually the large end of the modelling tool. And put a little bit of corn flour on if necessary. And press down on the edges of the paste. So you're pressing half of the tool on the pad and half of the tool on the paste shape. Do that all the way around and you'll see that the shape starts moving about. Don't hold it, let it move as it wants to and it gives the movement and shape of the leaf. If you have any problems with the points of the leaf not curving upwards and that's what you require, then press down the small end of the modelling tool from the edge or from the point inwards and that will curve the shape up. Once you're happy with the amount of movement you've got of your leaf, then just leave it to dry up to 24 hours and then you can dust it with blossom tints. For this one, I'm going to use it for a Christmas project. So I could dust the center with some green dust of my choice and if not it could be dusted gold all over for another Christmas project or we could start off by colouring the paste with a gel colour. The ones I usually use are sugar flare paste colours 
and gooseberry or spruce green are the best ones I've found for a really